Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The land speed record attempt by the team building the Bloodhound supersonic car has been postponed. The car will not reach South Africa by the end of this year as originally scheduled. Irma Fenter tells us more. Hi Irma. Hi Chanel. What is the new timeline for the record attempt? Well, it's no longer the end of the year as originally hoped. So we're looking at um, this time next year, Easter 2014, then the Bloodhound supersonic car is scheduled to arrive here for the first of about 30 test runs. Um, but the test runs already will be at about 1,300 kilometers an hour. So that will already break the current land speed record of 1,227 kilometers an hour set by the uh, thrust supersonic car. Of course, the team um, building the new car is exactly the same team that currently holds the um, the land speed record. Uh, so the same team building the Bloodhound, same, build, same team that built the, the um, thrust supersonic car. The final big land speed record attempt that they want to they want to put down there, which is 1,600 kilometers an hour. They actually want to do in 2015, so we're looking at um, them doing it there. Of course, this will be all hosted in the Northern Cape at a place called Hakskin Pan. It's way up in the Northern Cape, so um, if all goes well, hopefully we'll see the car arrive here maybe by the end of this year. And then, of course, it has to be transported up there. You mentioned Hakski and Pan. Why was this point chosen for the record attempt? Well, uh, also, as, as they went through a whole process, this team, to, to find the flattest piece of earth they could possibly find in the world. They looked at several places for Nyakpan. Well, years ago, we had a record attempt there. Um, other places in Nevada, desert, that's also popular for land speed records. And they found that this was actually one of the flattest pieces of earth, um, that they, pieces of uh, land that they can find on earth. So they used this. Uh, they needed a very wide stretch of land, a very long stretch of land. So it's about 20 kilometers long the, the, that the car would need to run. Um, so it'll take about two minutes to do that 20, 20 kilometers. And of course, it had to be without significant bumps or, or rocks. Rocks was a bit of a problem. Stones was a bit of a problem for, for uh, the record attempt. So we had the local community of the Groot uh, Mir municipality working to clear the um, stones off this track. So they picked up about 6,000 tons of stones, um, clearing this area uh, for, the, for the bloodhound to actually make its run. Hawkskin Pan is a very remote area. Does it have the IT infrastructure required to broadcast the record attempt? There's been big changes since the thrust record attempt, I think it was in 1997. So it's a whole new generation out there. I mean, Andy Green, the guy who's going to sit in the driving seat, he's a Royal Air Force commander of the UK. He actually talks about the whole new YouTube generation that you've got to pull them into this whole process. So you've got to be on the internet with this record run. So no, there's actually a very limited um, internet co connectivity up there. So MTN is um, they're spending about 30 million rand to put up all the network that they would be required to broadcast an event such as this. And of course, then you have a command center and the car, and they also need to talk to each other so that there's constant control of what's happening within the car. So it's a big spend of money. So in the end, I think the guys up in the Northern Cape is going to have some of the fastest internet in South Africa by the end of this. And does the project have all the funding it needs? Well, Andy Green, when we did an interview with him, he said they actually shy 100 million rand, more than 100 million rand. Um, so he's got about 220 million rand. The team, the Bloodhound team's got about 220 million rand at the moment. They're looking still for sponsors. Uh, they're also looking for that big plate, nameplate South African sponsor yet. So he hasn't found that yet. So he's fishing around, hoping they can get the last of the money together. But he doesn't think it's a big problem. So, um, yeah, so hopefully we can get the money and then we can see the Bloodhound come to South Africa. Thank you. That's the Second Tech Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.